We're gonna keep going right now. Let's bring up Jay Hughes. Come on! How's everybody doing tonight? Please keep drinking. The more you drink, the funnier I get. So yeah, uh, I'm half Irish, half Native American. Uh, which makes me 100% alcoholic, like a <laughs> uh, Most people don't believe I'm Native American. Well, that's because the white half has colonized. <laughs> Some people say, at best, I'm off-white. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Like, my dad left his red sock in my mom's white laundry? <laughs> Oh, that's a disturbing image. So yeah, um, I'm a little pudgy. Uh, I used to be bigger, I've lost some weight. Uh, I used to be size two people according to Southwest Airlines. Thankfully, I'm back down my one. Uh, I have been going to the gym. Uh, you're welcome, ladies. Yeah. Ladies, eyes up here. So yeah, did you know the gyms sell gift cards? What kind of backhanded gift is that? <laughs> Happy birthday, fat ass. <laughs> Thanks, mom. <laughs> yeah, you go into the gym these days, there's machines everywhere, all of which can be used for a dozen different ways. I'm struggling to figure out one. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah. I swear, everything looks like it's straight from the movie Saw. Honestly, I expect, I, I, I fully expect the, the trainers to be riding around on little tricycles with doll masks. Be like, let's play a game. <laughs> Work those glutes. Put your all back into it. <laughs> Why do we have mail anymore? Honestly, it's all trash. I mean, I'm gonna introduce my mailman to my garbage man because I'm tired of being the middleman. <laughs> Ladies, stop asking us to get things out of your purse. You know we're just gonna bring you the whole damn thing. Honestly, the purse is the Bermuda Triangle to men. It's a place where things just disappear. Like on manhood. Honestly, if, we, if we're ever brave enough to adventure inside, we always find something we didn't want to. That's like us asking you to reach in our front pocket. You two are gonna find something you didn't want to. We might want you to, though. How come gay people are the only ones allowed out of the closet? Like, we're all stuck in this little dark, confined place while they're outside having the time of their life. I mean, rainbows? I fucking love rainbows! Greece? They're watching Greece? I fucking love Greece! Look at this shit in Greece! Man, if I had to take a dick. Closet. We'll just leave the homophobic hate mongers in there. Fuck that. We'll move out of the house. Ship that shit to Arkansas. If you need to condemn it, it'll be in Arkansas. <laughs> trying to remember my shit. <laughs> you guys remember a time before smartphones? When we actually had to talk to people. Yeah, me neither. In fact, this is the longest conversation I've had all day. And you fuckers can't say shit to me. No, but really, smartphones have changed everything. All arguments end in two words. Google it. No, really, Google it, I'm not wrong. Shits take 20 minutes longer than they should. And you know this. Everybody in here, I'm sure, you've taken your phone to the bathroom. You've taken that same phone to dinner. You're, you're sitting there squeezing out a fudge dragon playing Angry Birds with your phone right there between your knees. 30 minutes later, you're sitting at dinner, your mom calls, you take that same phone and you press it right against your face. 
Yeah, that's gross. Welcome to reality. You're sitting there taking pictures of your cheeseburger with your shit sprinkled cell phone to post on Facebook with friends you haven't seen for years, if ever. <laughs> Hashtag that shit delicious. Before you've ever even had a bite of your shit sandwich. Honestly, smartphones have made us stupid like social media have made us antisocial. <laughs> That's it for me, guys.